Hey, good morning. It is 526 and I've been up for a while, but I've been laying in bed doing some things. That sounds so bad. I didn't mean it like that. I've been meaning I've been laying in bed texting myself my three questions, the answers to my three questions. What are you excited about? What are you grateful for? And what are you committed to getting done this week? So I am grateful for my family. I'm excited about spring break. The kids are on spring, spring break this week, and so we're gonna spend time together. We're gonna hit up the museums. We're gonna go to where? Oh, we're gonna go have a picnic and just do like fun family stuff. But you know, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm grateful for my family, but I'm also grateful that I am a blogger and I've got this ability to create whatever schedule I want for myself. I'm super grateful for that. Now, the dilemma, when you are a blogger and you are just an entrepreneur working for yourself is that you're just one person. So that is the challenge. And so I'm going to try to work my butt off today to make sure that I've got content for the week so that I can go have fun because no one's going to fill in for me while I'm out. This is why it's so important that when you are a entrepreneur, when you are a blogger, whoever you are, you need to have help. And there's a book that I'm reading. It's called The 12 Week Year. I'm, I'm always reading some kind of book, right? And the idea behind this book is that instead of having your year be 12 months, it should be 12 weeks. Why? Because you're more likely to get your goals done in 12 weeks. So my 12 week year ends on April 22nd, but I've already set my goals for next year, which would be take me up until July. And one of those goals for my next year, which would be my next 12 weeks, is that I'm going to hire help. I'm going to get an assistant. I don't make that much money for me to be hiring someone full time. So I'm going to hire just project by project. But just knowing that I'm going to have help is going to be amazing. But in order to hire help, you need to know exactly what that person is going to do. So what I recommend, and this is one of my goals for this year, but you have to document your processes. You have to know exactly what it is that you do every day, document it step by step, and let that person know how to do what you do. That's been one of my goals for this year. And I've documented one process, how to compose a blog post. That's it, I have a lot more to do. But I'm working on it, I'm working on it. And I will have a lot of it done by, eight, by April 22nd. That's the end of my year. All right, so I need to stop snapping because it's 5.36 and it's time for me to go and work on my morning stuff. There's a brand that I have been working with for probably the last few years, actually, last almost three years. And um, it's escalating, our relationship is escalating. It's kind of exciting because um, I've been really creative and coming up with ways to promote them. So I've got to put a re report together. So I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, what's up? So it is uh, still spring break for the kids and they're inside and I know they're gonna come out here and interrupt, but today is project day. Here's this chair that I'm working on. This is a chair that was in the nursing home where my grandmother was when she died. And I've already, it had a lot of holes. Looks like somebody had stuck some nails in the side or whatever and had a lot of holes. So I patched them up with wood filler. So I'm about to sand this baby down and you can see that I've already filled this hole and it's real smooth. You can't even tell there's a hole there. So why is this chair so important? So my grandmother had Alzheimer's and she was in a nursing home for maybe eight months. And this is a chair that was in her room. But what's really funny is that when I first had seen this chair, I said to my mom, I was like, oh, mom, that chair looks amazing. And she's like, what are you talking about? It's ugly. Well, not, so yes, it is, it is ugly like this. I mean, you know, with all the holes in the side and this, fabric I mean ugh. but you just wait till I get my hands on it I'll keep you guys posted of course on how this project goes today shouldn't take too much time I've got the fabric picked out I'm gonna go with a nice bright white and I've got to plug my blog right you got to find me at thriftdiving.com that's where I do all my projects and you can see all my before and afters go to thriftdiving.com and see what I've done go ahead go to thriftdiving.com I'll wait I'm still gonna be here doing snaps I'll wait for you go ahead and screenshot this because you know you want to see what the projects I've done, right? I'm still waiting. You see all those little holes? 
Now it's all smooth. Can't even tell. So I'm almost done sanding the chair and realized that the leg still has some holes. You see all these holes? Mm -hmm. Looks like somebody took a nail to it. So I'm going to use some of this wood filler and I'm going to just scoop some out with my finger and put it on there and get all those holes filled. And I'm just going to take a little bit like this and I'm just going to press it into those holes. And I want to make sure that it's raised. So I want to make sure that it's raised above. I'm going to push it in there, but I want to make sure that it's raised above the nail hole. So there's some. I'm just going to push it in there, but I'm going to leave it a little raised because when I sand this down, I want it to sand smooth. So just put as much as you can. So the reason why this matters is that when you're painting a chair, you do not want a lot of surface imperfections. It just looks like a bad finish. When you're refinishing furniture, just take the extra time, do the extra steps. It's a pain in the butt, but do it. You do not have to sand all the time. Hardly ever, really. These are minor, but I like to just go ahead and Put some on there too. You see how it's filling in there? And we'll sand that smooth. Really, you should not have to sand furniture unless it's chipped, unless you are stripping it and restaining it, or unless you're just crazy. If you're filling like 10,000 nail holes, which I tell you, I bet you this chair was ruined by a kid. It has to have been a kid. And I just wanted to show you what I normally wear. Look at this sexy paint jeans, huh? Sexy. I've started to sand it and you can see all of the wood filler goes into the holes right so now it'll be smooth when I paint it we're ready to paint we've got some white chalk paint can't see it and everything has been wiped down and we are ready to paint I've got one coat of paint on the chair. It's right over there. And I'm ready to go fly a kite. It's windy out here. King Master Tutu, John. Play. I'm going to get my kite up. Come on, kite. Come on, Kite. Up. Up, girl. Come on, girl. It's up there. It's up there. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. There's mine. My baby is calling me because he wants me to wipe his butt. I will be happy when I finally have a child that knows how to wipe his own butt. What do you want? This is what happens when you let a child go to the bathroom by himself. He's got suds all over his head. Hey, John. What are you doing? So today has been pretty awesome. Not only did I get two coats of paint on the chair, but I also flew kites and just hung out with the family. And it's 8.30 now and we have an evening routine. I read Harry Potter to the kids. We're on book one. And we are addicted to Once Upon a Time. Seriously, it's like some kitty type show, but I really love it and my kids love to watch it too. You know, we used to read the Berenstain Bears and we have like all the Berenstain Bear books and as much as I love them, they get old after a while. Sometimes you just need to change it up. Like how I'm changing up this filter. This is crazy. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the <laughs> oh, that filter has to be the best.
Hey guys, good morning, good morning. It is Tuesday. Yet another early morning for me. So I was up around four, but it's almost five. So I will usually lay in bed and just gather my thoughts. And I haven't done my three questions yet this morning. Usually I would lay in bed and do my three questions, but um, I didn't do it yet, so I'm gonna do it now. So remember I was telling you guys about the 12 week year? So this is kind of my goals. These are my goals for the next year. And the year is January 29th through April 22nd. Um, so family, I have family goals. I make a health goal, a money goal, a business goal, and I make a house goal and a personal goal. So my personal goal, look, I'm learning to play the entire song, Someone Like You by Adele on keyboard. Oh. So let me tell you how cool that goal is because I have always wanted to learn how to play piano, but I never took lessons. But I found a website that actually helps you do it easily. So that website is hdpiano.com. I'm not promoting them because I'm an affiliate or anything like that. I'm just telling you because it's so cool. So how HD Piano works is that you can get the first month free and then it's $15 a month after that. And it's so easy to learn, guys. I admit it is super hard to learn how to play piano when you don't know how to play. It's it's like how do you get your fingers to just do that? I practice probably I don't know maybe an hour a week. Some some weeks not even that. Um, but I have trained myself so I can now play the pre-chorus. Now I can play the intro and the pre-chorus of someone like you, and I can do it with my eyes closed. That's impressive. So this is why I love to make goals. I love to challenge myself and see what I can do in a short period of time. If you are still even watching these snaps this morning, I'm going to challenge you to ask yourself for the next three months, what are you going to challenge yourself to do? Go ahead and pick up a copy of this book. It's called The 12 Week Year. I have read probably the first eight to ten chapters. I guarantee this book is going to make you feel so much more excited about making goals because you're only going to do them in three weeks. Sorry, that's not... Wow, I look crazy. Not three weeks. I mean three months, 12 weeks. Set some goals for yourself and then make it happen. Now go do it now!